A hunt group allows administrators to distribute any inbound calls to a nominated subgroup of BizPhone users. Any BizPhone purchase of a minimum of three user plans comes with one complementary hunt group. To enable and edit your hunt group, navigate to the portal on your browser and log in with your administrator username and password. Then, click on the button in the top right of the hunt group box near the top of the screen. This next screen allows you to change the settings of your hunt group. You can enable and disable the hunt group using the slider button at the top of this page. The hunt group ID and phone number are set by default at the time you purchase your BizPhone services. However, you can change the hunt group name as well as the CLID or caller ID settings. This determines the name the caller ID will display on your BizPhone handsets when a call comes through the hunt group. The next important setting for your hunt group is the group policy. This setting determines how the incoming calls to your hunt group are handled with a choice of four options. Circular sends calls in a fixed order. The call is sent to the first available person on the hunt group list, beginning where the last call left off. Regular sends the calls to users in the order listed by the administrator. Calls will always go to the first person available on the list. Simultaneous rings all BizPhone users in the hunt group simultaneously with the call answered by the first user to pick up. Uniform means as a call is completed, the BizPhone user moves to the bottom of the call queue. The next call goes to the user that has been idle the longest, and the process repeats. The final important setting for your hunt group is the group member list. Using the arrows at the bottom of the screen, you can add and remove your available BizPhone users to and from the hunt group. The order you add the users is important, as it determines the order the group policy you set earlier will assign the calls. You can move users up and down the assigned list using these arrow buttons on the right. Remember, if you make any changes to this page, you'll need to click Update at the bottom.